بذكر الله ترتاح القلوب وتنزاح المتاعب والكروب الحمد لله رب العالمين All praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we thank and praise him for every single blessing in our life every single ni'mah every single bounty we seek his help support guidance forgiveness we take refuge with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from our bad deeds and the consequence of our bad deeds Whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides, no one can misguide. But whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala leaves to go astray, no one can guide. I testify, there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I testify that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his prophet, messenger, final prophet, final messenger to all people, to all mankind, to Allah of peace, mercy, blessing upon him, his family, his companions, and those who follow his steps, his way until the end of the life. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alam. In believers, advise myself, advise you to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to practice taqwa in every single action every single movement every single word as the taqwa is the highest and the best deed righteous deed that survive from the calamity of this dunya and calamity of next life allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the holy quran we have believed, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as he should be feared. And do not die except as Muslims. Do not die except as Muslim. The believers, four or five days ago, I received a call from somebody. He asking for counseling, for advising, and I found the topic he's talking about is very important to share with the public, with people. He contacted me saying, Imam, I want to talk to you. I have many questions. Told him, okay, go ahead. He said, first question, I feel something blocked me from faith. Something blocked me from practice Islam, practice deen, religion. Blocked me to come to the masjid, to pray. Something blocked me from that. I feel that lack of interesting to practice my deen, my iman, my faith. So, I told, first of all, it's a good to ask that question. It's a healthy. When the person feels that there is something happening between him and Allah, him and the masjid, him and the prayer, feel that, is a good sign. The first step to feel kind of longing to faith and practice faith. Amen. Because this is a normal and regular case to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah established us here on earth to worship Him, to show our humbleness our abudi serving to almighty the creator allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so first of all it's a good to feel that and a good sign to contact the masjid contact the imam asking about that secondly coming to islam 
is not enough to show your practicing to Islam. Take Shahada and announce Muslim, you are Muslim and have Muslim name, that's not enough. But we should involve in real Islamic practicing. Real Islamic practicing. Real Islamic life. Islam uh, give us perfect guidelines for every single action in our life covered by Islam. Quran and Sunnah. Quran and Sunnah. Everything. You have reference in Sunnah, reference in Quran. So, we should involve in real Islamic life. Understand, the next point, understand the nature of the life. Nature of this life. And the challenges as being Muslims, as a servant to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, feeling lack of interested practicing Islam, sometimes happen for people and they you know recover from that by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inspiring their heart you need your Lord you need your to come to the masjid you need to practice salah in the masjid this is our need our necessity to make balance in your life life is not body only it is the body and the spirit the soul and the food of the soul here the medicine of the soul here Baytullah tabaraka wa ta'ala al-masjid so nature of the life this life this dunya we are here in test we are in test we should put that in our mind our consciousness we are in trial tribulation fitna this dunya all of it are fitna all of it whenever wherever you move and talk and fitna tribulation test once we understand that we receive the challenge of life with this mentality so we deal with them with attaching with the heaven relate with the heaven with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we are struggling in this life a shaitan number one our enemy major enemy a shaitan satan devil and a shaitan very powerful powerful and weak at the same time how powerful for those who are weak with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the shaitan is power is strong with those who weak with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is not interesting to practice not practicing iman Islam not have knowledge enough knowledge Islamic knowledge fiqh all that stuff make the person weak so now he's easy easy going with shaitan in shubuhat misunderstanding misconception shubuhat shahawat desires and the dunya and everything very very easy for shaitan to play with that character that person but if the person is strong is his faith and practice faith good now the person is stronger than shaitan allah said that in the quran الذين إذا مسهم طائف من الشيطان تذكروا فإذا هم مبصرون. those who if they are touched by shaitan, shaitan came and whisper for them by evil by sins. those who if shaitan touched them, they remember Allah سبحانه وتعالى. so they have the light of the darkness of shaitan and they go in the life for protection from shaitan. And we learn from Sunnah and Quran. Everything you start, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim. 
So you seek refuge with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from shaitan every action, every time you start something. That the believer who practice faith, but who doesn't practice far from that. So easy for shaitan to believe. So this number one, understand the nature of the life. The life is challengeable. It is trial, tribulation. The first enemy, the major enemy, is shaitan, Satan. And then after shaitan and nafs, ego, our ego, our nafs, our own desires, our own ambition. Sometimes, sometimes drive the person to go to halal, to go to haram, to go to shubuhat. So when the person has light from Quran and Sunnah in his heart, now he know halal, haram and what's gray between them if the person doesn't have this light that the guidance he drop sometime in haram sometime in gray area sometime in halal so random life random life because there is no light from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so and nafs and nafs al bashariya the ego the desires the self. And then the third challenge with is a dunya itself. This life, worldly life. You have family, children, business, work, job. You have to convey that, cover that, your needs, your bills, your housing, everything. Yes. Yes. That's important and that's real and that's life. But with the understanding from the beginning of the nature of the life and the person is scheduled himself between the dunya and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he survived from that situation and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed the person who plan and schedule his business his uh, job to be ibadah we mentioned that many many but just refresh and remind who doesn't know that when the person go to business or to job by niya it is ibadah allah accept these hours you stay in your job as a ibadah as if you are praying as if you are praying as long as it's halal job halal job allah accept these hours you have recompensation from your job salary and you have also reward from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala double because the niya your niya everything everything eating drinking Our rasul said wa fi bud'i ahadukum sadaqa even your physical relation with the wife it is sadaqa it's kind of a charity kind of you know worshiping allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they ask ya rasul allah ayati ahaduna shahwatahu wa yakunu lahu biha ajr قال نعم أرأيت إن وضعها في حرام يأسك يا رسول الله we consume our desires and then receive reward he said yes look if he put that in haram he practice adultery he practice fornication so it is sinful action so the person practice with the wife physical relation he receive reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at the, the beauty of that deen. Look at the beauty of that deen. Make everything to be worshipping and serving and relate with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, a shaitan, a nafs, a dunya, make the person lack, has lack of interesting to practice faith, practice iman, practice salah and come to the masjid and so on. Number two, the environment very important the environment put yourself in sound environment make your house sound environment I mean spiritual Islamic religious environment in your house in your house in the place you are working try to make that why not try to make that sound religious and religious and spiritual environment that helps so much because that you have inner reminder inner sensor from your side from your inside tell you 
how to be close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Push you to pray. Push you to come to the masjid. Push you to be righteous person. as sadiq the friend. The friend, friend very important. We have surely, no way, we have impacted. We are impacted negatively or positively by friends. Your companion, your colleague. So select righteous friends. Righteous friend who remind you by salah, by visiting the masjid, by prayer, by Jumu'ah, by every good deed. But if you go to here or there, not righteous friend, you will go to wrong way. Wrong way. So look at that hadith. Al-Nabiyu Al-Akram Salawatu Rabbi wa Salamuhu Alayhi said this authentic narration, Imam Bukhari, Imam Muslim, both of them narrated that. Abu Musa Al-Ash'ari radiallahu anhu reported, I heard the Prophet saying, the example of good friend and bad friend is that of the owner of perfume and of the one who blowing the billows, blacksmith. The owner of perfume would either offer you some free of a charge or you would buy it from him or you smell good smell from him. Three, three results for good friends, good friends. The bad friend is like this person who has blacksmith. When you visit him or stay with him in his store, his place, so either burn your clothing, your clothes, or you smell a bad smell from the place. This is like the smart example. When you have good friend or bad friend. So good friend drive us to righteous good places, deeds, works. Bad friend, the other side. So this is what we mentioned till now that qualify the person had this uh, desire to come and practice faith, Iman and Islam. The third step which is basing the person basing in dunya and forget about akhirah, forget about next life, forget about prepare himself or herself to the next life. Yes, it is hard, hard such environment, but struggling against the ego, desires, needs of the family, needs of the children, this is kind of jihad. This is a highest type of jihad, which is struggling against the evil, against the desires, against the what we have from the life, face and be righteous. This is good and highest type of jihad. The heart, the heart who drives us to practice faith, to come to the masjid. When the heart is busy with dunya, so drive us to dunya. When the heart is busy with akhirah, with deen, with the spiritual life, so drive us to practice faith. This is a point, major point, the heart. So we have duty to struggle against the evil inside ourselves and purify and clean up our hearts to be busy with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's long processing and sometime hard, sometime easy. But once the person seeks support, and trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah support and make it easy for him. Because everything, every action happened in the world by Allah. Everything happened by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We just acquire iktisab. So once the person had this niyyah and had the plan to be righteous, Allah take the hand to his way is a guidance Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so a rasul give us medicine spiritual remedy spiritual medicine how to purify clean 
our heart. Listen carefully, please. Ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma reported a Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam saying, these hearts become rusty. Just as iron, if you leave a piece of iron in oven, after a few days you're going to see what going to happen for this piece of iron, rusty. So our heart the same became rusty, but here by the sins, by the sin action, by the sin word, is by different type of sins. Come to the heart and make dots, 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 till the, uh, the heart became dark out of these sins. But if the person keep cleaning, keep cleaning, keep cleaning the heart, even they receive these sins, recover and back again to be light and pure and clean. How I clean? Listen to the Prophet ﷺ. Rusty just as iron does when water get to it. They ask it, what could clean them, Ya Rasulullah? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He replied, remembering of death, mentioning of death, and the recitation of the Quran, and dhikr. Al Quran, part of the dhikr. Dhikr is larger. Quran, salah, dhikr, asma, sifat, names of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and so on. So these two methods, dhikr, dhikr al maut, mentioning the death because we are we are under petition we are under inviting or we can say mandating from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at if any second any second to go there we are waiting for that you know like lion you are waiting your 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 turn in the line to meet allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so at every second, maybe today here, today here, and tomorrow there, this week here, next week there, and so on. So remember death, mentioning death, make the person, the heart ready, the heart come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, come to pray, come to serve, to be ready for that meaning. For that meeting and then a dhikr a dhikr two kind of dhikr dhikr al maut and dhikr al-layt baraka wa ta'ala quran hadith sunnah uh, dhikr asma sifat salah all that times of dhikr should we practice that clean our heart clean up clean up our heart daily that's why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes salah five times think about that five times five times and Rasulullah Sallam make example for the person who takes shower five times. There is no any dirt on his body. The same for the person who pray every day five times. Imagine five times, clean up everything and Sunan plus that, Qiyam al plus that. And you see the fasting of Ramadan, fasting after Ramadan, Sunan, Nawafil, and many, many, many activity we should involve in that. Why all of that? To make our heart clean, to be ready for the meeting Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. أقول قولي هذا إن كان من توفيق فمن الله وحده وإن كان من خلل ونقص فمني ومن الشيطان فأستغفر الله استغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. الحمد لله رب العالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له. وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم وزد وبارك على هذا النبي المبارك وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعه إلى يوم الدين أما بعد believers we should understand the nature of the life between the nature of the between us relation between us and Allah سبحانه وتعالى that the person takes step to Allah سبحانه وتعالى to Allah Allah take double steps toward us. Think about that. Once the person takes step ahead to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah takes step 10 times, 20 times toward us. The, balak, the blessing, the barak of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So once the person feel that, 
feel that feeling which is lack and of interesting to practice Islam, to come to the masjid, to pray, to seek knowledge, all that stuff, ask Allah to remove that from the heart. To be in humbleness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, humble yourself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and ask Allah to remove that from the heart. Because it may be punishment. It may be punishment. Allah said that Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu Stajibu lillahi wal rasooli Iza daakum lima yuhyikum Wa alamu anna Allah Yahulu bayna al mar'i wa qalbih Wa annahu ilayhi tuhsharoon You have believed Respond to Allah And his messenger When he calls you to that Which gives you life Spiritual life Religious life and know that Allah intervenes between, make barrier between a man and his heart. The person reached to cannot change or control or move or clean the heart. It's kind of punishment. Like what happened in the Fir'aun, for example. Fir'aun and, and many people like that. They have belief, they believe, but the last second, last minute, Fir'aun, when he come to the sea and drawn, he said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, amantu, annahu la ilaha illa alladhi amanat bihi, banu Israela, wa ana min al-Muslimin, I'm a Muslim. But too late, too late. So it may kind of punishment, the person feel that. Because Zinub, the sins pile up on the heart, so make period between the person and Allah, so Allah seal the heart, close the heart to see the righteousness, the guidance, the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, to remove that, seek from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by humbleness to guide and light our, your, our life. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us love. Iman, faith, Islam, Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy for us to practice faith, practice Islam, practice Iman, to come to the masjid and pray in the masjid, Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to lift and remove the pandemic from the world, Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to heal, cure every sick person, Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Allahumma aghfir lana dhunubana. وإسرافنا في أمرنا وثبت على الحق أقدامنا وانصرنا على من عادانا يا رب العالمين خذ بنواصينا إليك أخذ الكرام عليك تب علينا توبة ترضيك وترضى بها عنا يا أكرم الأكرمين يا رب العالمين اللهم إن عبيدك بنو عبيدك بنو إمائك وقفنا في ساحتك نرجو رحمتك ونخاف عذابك فلا تردنا من هذا المقام إلا وقد غفرت ذنوبنا وسترت عيوبنا وجبرت كسرنا وجعلتنا في عبادك الصالحين يا رب العالمين اللهم اختم لنا جميعا بخاتمة السعادة يا رب العالمين اللهم أحسن خلاصنا وأحسن ختامنا يا أرحم الراحمين يا رب العالمين يا أجود الأجودين يا أكرم الأكرمين يا رب العالمين عبيدك بنو عبيدك بنو إمائك وقفنا في ساحتك وأنت أجود الأجودين فلا تردنا منها خائبين صفر اليدين يا رب العالمين اللهم اشفنا واشف مرضانا وجميع مرضى المسلمين وارحم موتانا وجميع موتى المسلمين وارحمنا إذا ما صرنا إلى الموت يا رب العالمين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين وصل اللهم وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين أقم الصلاة